All right, take off now. Get it. Nice. All right, what's going on, guys? So today we have Daniele Scardina. He is back from Italy. This is one of my boxers that has been in the game for quite a while, but is now taking the leap and is now a world champion. So we have the next fight in a couple of months. So we're setting a baseline. We're getting baseline numbers with all of these testing parameters. So right now he's doing the 10-20 split test. And then we're gonna do a power test and also we're gonna do a moxie to figure out what his rate limiting factors are. So stay tuned, let's get into it. I want you to step, when you step, don't come out to where the foot is outside the knee, right? So it's a small step here, nice and little steps here, okay? Stack everything in, keep the toes pointed forward. There you go. Now, little step, small. There you go, small. That's it, small, small. All right, keep those knees from caving in like this, all right? I want you to step, heel, toe, heel, toe. Heel, toe, heel, toe. Next time. You know, the average is how we did with the, with the bar, you know, bam. Yeah, yeah. And every punch, I was thinking about that, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I had your face <laughs> in my mind, not thinking about that. Yeah, your face. Yeah, my face, as you punching him, you <laughs> no, gonna punch me, man? <laughs> in, my, yeah, in my mind, I'm yeah. thinking about that. Yeah, yeah, about yeah. About that move, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the landmine. You talking yeah. about the landmine? Yeah. Yeah. Nah, definitely, yeah. man. That's where you get the rotational torque from, man. Yeah, That's perfect. Yeah, yeah. Now you did your thing. Rotation well with this. Yeah. I was thinking about that every time I, I was punching him. Yeah, know? yeah, so perfect. That's what we want. Oh, That's yeah. what we want. We want that transfer. You know what I mean? Okay, go ahead. Give me band pull-aparts, right? Let's work on the shoulders. Remember, shoulder blades back and down. So pull these down. Good. Now squeeze my fingers. There you go. Good. Good. Ten reps. Four. Five. There you go. Good. Perfect. The hot. Low. So high. We're gonna change it up, all right? Low, good, high, low, high. That's it. That's it. Push, 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 push. Okay? Good. All the way in. That's it. Good, good. Keep bouncing. Good. Shift. All right? Right at the light. As soon as you go, that light's gonna go off. Right, you're gonna go to the 10 yard and all the way down to the 20. So you're gonna sprint all the way down to that wall. Okay. All right, all I'm doing is I'm taking the time you get from the 10, 10 yard and the time you get to the 20 yard, okay? I'm gonna find out what we actually need, whether it be speed, power, or strength based on this 10, 20 split. So all right? Do this fast? Yeah, you gotta run as fast as you can, all right? As fast as, as, fast as you can, all right? Okay. Obviously be careful, right? You got the end of the wall. There's padding on the wall so you can run into it. <laughs> Don't knock yourself out though, all right? We're gonna do this three times. So go one, walk back, take a little bit, and then we'll take another two rounds, all right? You get the best of three. The right? wall is hot, right? No, it's right Yeah, I, I can. You're good, you're good. Don't, 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 don't go crazy though. He's gonna run right into the wall. <laughs> Tell him when he's ready, Nick. Come on. Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. Nice. Good. Come on. Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. Nice. 302. 17113. Okay. Okay. So based off of these numbers, just off of these numbers alone, we can tell that he needs a little bit more force production. So he needs to work on acceleration as opposed to his top speed. So he is faster than he is strong. So now we know what we need to work on. All right, so now what we're gonna do is a force velocity profile. We're gonna take his jump height in body weight. Then we're gonna put 15% of body weight on there. Then we're gonna go ahead and go 30%, 45%, and then 60%. Then we'll put it on to a scatter plot and figure out where he's deficient at. All you gotta do is just jump. Make it easy on you. Yep, right there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ready? Go ahead, on you. Hold. Good. Rest. Get up. There you go, good. Get up. There you go, better. That was faster than the lighter weight. Yeah. On the ground. Yeah. All right, we got one more, right? 60%, 60%. There you go. 
All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and plot that on a, on a graph and see exactly if he needs more strength, more power through a vertical positioning. So that's where that force is being distributed vertically. And that's gonna help obviously coordinate that over into the fight game, right? If we can get that explosive power built in from the ground up, right? That's gonna allow him to be more explosive, more powerful. Nick almost fucking died. Nick almost died. Nick almost died. He's been doing this for years. And since I met him, he's too explosive for his own good. Getting back to what I was talking about. Right, we're gonna use the trap bar uh, jump to measure that percentage of power. And then also for that, gives us a good indication again if he needs more strength and more power through that particular parameter. Next, Next. we got broad jump, all right? Broad jump, horizontal force displacement. I'm gonna show us a hip power, all right? Good measurement tool just to see how much power we're getting in his lower body, right? And then we'll have that set as a measurement and then we can go ahead and retest him getting closer to the fight. There you go, hold it. All right, so now what we're gonna do is a condensed version of the five minute ramp test. Um, so for this, primarily, we are gonna be measuring his rate limiting factors. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put him on the assault bike or the echo bike, right? Put Nears device, a Nears device on both sides of his body. So one on the vastus lateralis, one on rectus femoris. And then that's gonna dictate exactly what he needs from an energy system standpoint going into camp. All right, so this is what we got today. We're gonna go one minute at 175. And we're gonna increase to 225 and 220, uh, 275. And we're gonna keep increasing by 50 watts to reach RP of eight. And we're gonna rest for a minute. And he's gonna go 10 second, three 10 second sprints. We're gonna take the max wattage from that. Then we're gonna use that at 65% to run him until his SMO2 stops declining. So he reaches the stalemate. Mm -hmm. All right, so as you can see, a more condensed version of the five minute ramp. Usually that five minute ramp, the entire protocol lasts around 45 to 60 minutes. This one's gonna be condensed right around 15 to 20 minutes. And the goal, like I said, is to find out what his rate limiting factors are from an energy system standpoint. Once I find that out, I can program accordingly. We can streamline the training that's going to match what he needs for himself. Arms, 175. 175 is on now. Right. Just keep it there. It's gonna be. It's gonna feel easy in the beginning. You know that, and then it's gonna start getting hard. All right, drop it down a little bit, though. Where's he supposed to be at on there? Right now he's at 325. Alright, just keep it going until you feel like yo, I'm, I'm pretty much done. Right? So what we're doing right now is we're tracking heart rate in between each individual zone of watts. And as you can see, it's slowly increasing as the watts go up. So the intensity is getting higher. And then we're gonna wait until he gets to about an RPE eight to shut him down, rest him for a little bit. And then we're gonna do 10 second sprints to see where his average max output. Okay, so he finished to RPE eight at around 640. Right now we're gonna give him a minute break and then he's gonna go do his 10 second all out sprints. If you wanna find out more details on all this stuff, I urge you to check out my mentorship program. It's a one-time fee, you get access for life. I get all of my protocols, my methods, my systems, when it comes down to assessment, when it comes down to evaluations, it's all in there. So check it out, link is down below. Hey, Swift, get it up, get it up, get it up. Strong, come on, get it up. Higher, higher, let's go. Dick. Good, 918, good. Let's try to at least maintain that so you can get to that 900. I'm gonna get to that 900. Right? Dig, 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 let's go. Hard push, hard push, come on. Strong. Good. Woo. Nice. 111, 111, better, right? See what I'm saying? Getting stronger as you go on. 
You're getting stronger as you go on. So what I'm looking at is, I'm looking at blood markers. So every time he hits a hard burst, I'm seeing how much utilization or how much oxygen he's utilizing. And you can see it here. And then also seeing how much he can come back and bring back that oxygen to the working tissue. Come on now, hit it, hit it, hit it. Keep going, let's go, keep going. Drive, drive, drive. That's your total hemoglobin, that's your total blood. And this is the blood that's inside your muscle here, right? So what I was saying was, that's why I wanted to know if you had an injury, because for me, I'm the same way. Like I can utilize more on my left than I can my right because of the right, it's got a knee injury, right? But there's no injury. That just, you know what that just means? It means you're, you're producing more power through that leg that's utilizing oxygen more because it's dropping faster. You see what I'm saying? It's dropping more and it's dropping faster. You're pushing, you're using this leg to sit on, right? That's got more, yeah. it's got more tension on it all the time. Yeah, always like that. Yep, This yep. is the... It's a guiding leg, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's interesting, but that's... It's definitely not uncommon, especially for boxing. He's got his back leg, it's obviously has more muscle oxygen utilization. So he's utilizing that oxygen more efficiently in the back leg because he's always pushing and moving off of that leg. But for now, we got a good, uh, we got a lot of numbers here. So that's gonna help us out. All right, so there you go. Daniele Scardina, check him out. Uh, definitely a champ and going to be a force to be reckoned with going further into his career. So make sure you check him out. Link is down below. If you wanna find out more details on how you can get access to my portal of programming, systems of training, all of my assessment protocols, all of that down below in the mentorship program. So you know what to do, hit the comments down below if you have any questions. Make sure you subscribe, hit the notification. I'll see you again next time, peace.